In this video, I'm gonna show you how to create the screen pop effect in Premiere Pro, just like this. Tyler here from Video Editing with Tyler White. If you wanna learn how to edit video like a pro, start now by subscribing and hitting the bell so you don't miss anything. Here inside Premiere Pro, I already have my clips and music down on the timeline. So the first thing I'm gonna do is go over here to audio layer number one and double click in this area right here. And that's going to make my audio waveform a lot larger. Then what I'm gonna do is go ahead and grab my playhead, bring it to the very beginning of the timeline. And I'm just going to play my music back so I'm familiar with where the bass hits are located. Now that I'm familiar with where those bass hits are located, I'm going to grab the playhead again, bring it to the very beginning of the timeline. And this time I'm gonna be going in and setting markers at every single bass hit. So in order to do that, all I'm gonna do is click anywhere in this area right here where I have nothing selected. And I'm going to play the music back. And this time, every time I hear a bass hit, I'm gonna press M on the keyboard, just like this. Now what I'm gonna do is go ahead and make this a little bit bigger and I'm just gonna make sure that my markers line up correctly on the base hit. So I'm gonna go here to the very first marker and I'm gonna go in here and just move and adjust every single marker to make sure everything lines up. Once you have all your markers lined up, it's now time to create this effect. So I'm gonna go over here to the project table, right click, go up to new item and down to adjustment layer. Make sure this matches your settings and then press okay. Then what I'm gonna do is click and drag that adjustment layer onto video layer number two above my first and second clip. Next, I'm gonna go up here to these double arrows, go down to effects, and I'm gonna type in transform. I'm gonna click and drag transform onto that adjustment layer. Then I'm gonna go up here to effects controls and I'm gonna scroll down to the transform effect. Now I'm gonna grab my playhead and bring it to that very first marker. Make sure that I have my adjustment layer selected and I'm gonna go over here under transform where it says scale and I'm gonna select a stopwatch and that's going to create a keyframe. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change this number to 125. Now I wanna go down here where it says use composition shutter angle, uncheck this, and I wanna change this shutter angle to 360. And this is gonna create motion blur when it zooms in. Now what I'm gonna do is go over five frames. Then I'm gonna change this back to 100, and that's going to create a second keyframe. Then what I'm gonna do is go down here over to the razor tool, go make this a little bit bigger, and I'm going to make a cut on that fifth frame. Press V on the keyboard to bring back up the selection tool, then go ahead and delete the rest of that adjustment layer. Now what I'm gonna do is go ahead and play this back. And that looks pretty good to me. So what I'm gonna do is just duplicate this adjustment layer across every single marker. So I'm gonna go ahead, select that adjustment layer, hold down the Alt key and click and drag to that next marker. And I'm gonna do this for every single marker on my timeline. Now go ahead and play it back. Continue to perfect your skills by checking out this video. Hit it like a pro by subscribing and hitting the bell so you don't miss anything. I'll see you in the next video.